Hey guys, so I am in Amsterdam right now and I am headed to Venice, Italy. I'm gonna drive there to one of my track meets. So this is my first week back post injury and I'm really excited, but I will say right now jet lag is killing me. I didn't sleep at all on the plane. It was like a seven and a half hour ride. And now I literally had not one ounce of sleep and I feel like I'm a zombie because it's morning and it's like 2 a.m. back uh, in the U.S. where I stay. So I'm exhausted, but I'm really excited. So I decided to get to a vlog and it's a new experience again because I haven't done it in so long. And I'm really excited for it, this new comeback and what I have to offer this year and next year especially. So come along with me as I come back from my Achilles rupture. So as you can see, I have my compression socks on, as well as this Firefly. Oh, this thing is so freaking good. It works very well. I feel like I didn't even have a seven hour flight. My legs are just so good. So if you guys have long flights and you want some like really good recovery things, then make sure you use Firefly because it's really helping my legs out. I thought I'd show you guys my race nails. I decided to do something a little different and I got like a sparkly gel and I'm really liking it. It's different. I usually just do solid colors, but I said, hey, first race back, why not? It is hot in this plane. I'm like sweating bullets. And it's really small, so I feel kind of claustrophobic. So I finally got my bags. I may have or may have not overpacked. But last time I was at this meet, I never got them. So I'm super happy that I got them. You guys can say hi to my vlog. <laughs> Tell them what you are. I'm Danny. Danny and Emmanuel. Emmanuel. So I finally made it to my hotel room and this is what it looks like. So one thing I don't like is when the beds are super close because I kind of need my personal space, that's not enough room. So I'm going to have to move that apart. I think I'm here before my roommate. And this little balcony is super cute. I'm going to do my morning stuff out here because I love the view. But yeah y'all, Italy is so cute. But first let me reconstruct this room real quick. Alright, so I ended up moving this couch. It was all the way over there, which made the bed super close. So I spaced that out, gave us a little bit more room. And then I'm about to do my normal check boots so I can recover, so my legs can feel pretty good for my race. And I also added a candle, which I just love to have because I love good smelling things. And yeah, honestly, after that, I'll probably take a little nap, even though I probably shouldn't because I'm jet lagged. But hey, I need some rest, so I'm tired. <laughs> I just want to say, I am so happy to be here. It's been so long since I've competed. It feels like forever, even though it's only been a year. But honestly, I don't take this for granted anymore. After not being able to do it for a year, I'm just so blessed. And I don't really look at like competitions as scary or anxious or I don't get overwhelmed anymore. I just, I just look forward to just being out and have this opportunity to run. So. Y'all, I'm really excited to compete. I'm not putting too many expectations on myself this weekend because I know that, you know, it's, I just need to take some time to get back to how I used to run. I'm just really excited to see where I can go from here because this year is all about building and kind of getting back to my old self. I'm really excited, uh, just happy to be here and I will continue to update you guys throughout the trip. I'm about to do my shakeout out here. Yeah, this weather is literally perfect. I can't wait to compete in here. I'm loving it. And it's such beautiful scenery. Let me show y'all. There's a hotel right there. So I decided not to do too much today because you don't want to push your body to the limit. But I will go to the track tomorrow to do more. And um, like more hurdling stuff or pre-meet pretty much. But yeah, I'm probably just going to stretch for the rest of the day and just do recovery because I am a little tight, but today's all about just getting loose and getting your body used to um, the different new environment. Good 
morning people so it is about 7 30 in the morning now and i got some really good sleep y'all like i was knocked out i was so exhausted so i actually woke up at five though so i didn't get that much sleep but the amount of time i was asleep i was knocked i'm about to probably go eat some breakfast and then this nice balcony i showed you guys earlier i'm about to be out there I'm about to do some journaling and some prayer and all my morning routines. I don't when I travel I don't like to change my morning routine if possible. So I'm gonna try to get that in on this balcony. I have like some music on right now that I love to just wake up to and just gets me in a really good mood for the day. As you guys can see my roommate still hasn't come. I have one more day until I race and I'm looking forward to just getting more used to everything and more acclimated and yeah. <laughs> It is so loud out here. I don't know, what is birds or crickets? Like, what is this? Anyways, so, my morning routine consists of journaling, reading my Bible, praying a little bit, um, listening to worship music. I have a little banana, because I tend to get pretty hungry. And I always drink a cup of coffee, and I drink water as well. So that's usually what I do when I'm like back at my house. Um, so I'm trying to keep that same routine so things don't seem too different when I'm overseas. I try to keep things pretty much the same so it feels like I'm at home. It is really bright out here, but this is the track. I haven't been here, even though I was at this meet two years ago, it seems like they've changed the track, so it's a little different. But it is very nice. I like blue tracks, I usually do pretty well on them, so let's hope for the best tomorrow. But yeah, I'm about to do my pre-meet, so shake out. It's not gonna be too long. Um, I'm gonna do some drills and just getting ready for tomorrow. So just really quick in and out, uh, get myself moving, do some strides. We'll see how it goes. People always want to know what do you do when you are training at a meet and literally chilling in my bed uh, I'm actually gonna download some music so honestly resting like before you go to a race or before you compete in a race you really want to make sure your body is well rested especially if you traveled really far like I did you want to just not try to do too much because my legs are already pretty tired from travel so you want to do as much recovery as possible you want to get off off your legs you want to do the normal tech boots you want to do all that recovery stuff so yeah, just for you guys who think like, oh, when you're on trips, do you go explore? I don't really have time to. I would love to. I usually do if we have time afterwards, which I will. After um, this meet, I have a little bit of a break in between my next one. So I do have some time to explore. I don't do much. So FYI, this is literally just a day in the life. Like, we're literally just chilling. But it's quite nice, especially after a long travel. You going to Belladonna, um, Tony? How's your dinner or lunch? It's pretty good. Very good. As good as it's going to get. <laughs> make it worse. Get ready for your rice. How you like your lunch? Like 44. Enjoying it? Got the rice. Yeah. Got a burger. I think okay. it's a burger. It's kind of thick. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> Got some pizza. Though. Like the school kids, remember the school's front piece? I remember that. Yeah. Like, it's pretty good. I'm looking at it. Can you see? How's your lunch, Mike? He's mad because he's late. You got all the wings. It's not my fault you were late. Show your plate. I'm happy. I'm happy. I ate. Sorry, it's not my fault you were late. You know what I'm saying? How's your lunch, Tony? Already good. Okay. It's getting real, y'all. It's got my bib number. It's got accreditation. I am about ready.
first race is done. We went really poorly, but I finished in one piece. I was a little nervous going into it, so I didn't really feel the best, but I'm really happy that it's over and I feel pretty good to go for the next one. I feel like I can finish just a lot better than that because that was not anything close to what I'm capable of, but at the same time, I'm feeling a lot better. So looking forward to my next race soon.